नमस्ते टू एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टुडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन मॉड्यूल्स लेक्चर नंबर फोर इन व्हिच आई विल डिस्कस लिनियर सम एंड डायरेक्ट सम ऑफ सब मॉड्यूल्स नाउ वी डिफाइन लिनियर सम ऑफ टू सब मॉड्यूल्स let a and b be two sub modules of an r module m then the linear sum of a and b is denoted by a plus b and defined by capital a plus capital b is a set containing elements of the form small a plus small b where small a belong to capital a and small b belongs to capital b now we shall prove a theorem theorem is capital a and capital b are sub modules of an r module m then a plus b is also a sub module of m now we prove this let small c small d belong to capital a plus capital b where capital a and capital b are sub modules of an r module m according to the definition of linear sum c belongs to a plus b implies that c equal to a1 plus b1 where a1 belongs to capital a and b1 belongs to capital b similarly d belongs to a plus b means d is sum of two elements a2 and b2 such that a2 belongs to capital a and b2 belongs to capital b now c minus d equal to a1 minus a2 plus b1 minus b2 this is number 2 since a1 a2 belong to a a1 a2 belong to a and a is a sub module therefore a1 minus a2 belong to capital a similarly b1 b2 belong to capital b and capital b is a sub module therefore b1 minus b2 belong to capital b therefore c minus d here is sum of two elements first element is a1 minus a2 which belong to a and second element is b1 minus b2 which belong to b therefore c minus d belong to sum of two elements such that first element belong to capital a and second element belong to capital b therefore c minus d belongs to a plus b number 3 this is from 1 and 3 in 1 c d belong to capital a plus capital b in theory c minus d belong to capital a plus capital b therefore a plus b is an additive subgroup of capital a this is number 4 let a small r belong to capital r capital r be the ring c small c belongs to 
capital A plus capital B. Therefore, we may write C as sum of two elements A1 and B1. A1 belongs to capital A, B1 belongs to capital B. Now, RC equal to R, C means A1 plus B1. Therefore, RC equal to R under bracket A1 plus B1 equal to R A1 plus R B1. Again, since A is a submodule of M, therefore a small r belong to capital R ring and small a1 belongs to capital A implies that R a1 belongs to capital A. This is number 6. Similarly, B is a submodule of M. R belongs to capital R ring. B1 belongs to capital B implies that R B1 belongs to capital B. From 6 and 7, we get this belong to capital A, this belong to capital B. That therefore their sum belongs to capital A plus capital B. That is R A1 plus R B1 belongs to capital A plus capital B. And R A1 plus R B1 in 5 equal to R C implies that R C belongs to capital A plus capital B. From 4 we get A plus B is an additive subgroup of M and in 8 small r belongs to a capital R ring and C belongs to capital A plus B implies that RC belongs to capital A plus capital B. That means from 4 and 8 we get A plus B is a submodule of M proved. Now we define direct sum of submodules. A module M is said to be direct sum of submodules M1 and M2 if number 1 M equal to M1 plus M2 number 2 each element of M can be uniquely expressed as sum of an element of M1 and an element of M2. Symbolically, direct sum is denoted by M equal to M1. This symbol is direct sum M2. Now we prove a theorem. Theorem. The necessary and sufficient conditions for a module M to be direct sum of its two submodules M1 and M2 if number 1 M equal to M1 plus M2 that is M is the linear sum of M1 and M2 number 2 M1 intersect M2 contains only zero element that is M1 intersect M2 is a set containing zero element. Now we prove this. Firstly necessary part. By the definition of direct sum of two submodules, if M is the direct sum of two submodules M1 and M2, then each element of M is uniquely expressed as sum of an element of M1 and 
an element of M2. Therefore, M is a linear sum also. That is, M equal to M1 plus M2. Let, if possible, there exists a non-zero element small m belongs to capital M1 intersect capital M2 implies that small m belongs to M1 and small m belongs to M2. Also, if m belongs to M1 intersect M2 and M1 plus M2 equal to capital M, then small m belongs to capital M. And we may write m, small m, as sum of two elements here, 0 plus m. 0 belongs to capital M1 and m belongs to capital M2. And also we may write m equal to m plus 0. Here m belongs to capital M1 and 0 belongs to capital M2. Therefore, M belongs to capital M can be expressed in at least two different ways as sum of an element of M1 and an element of M2. This contradicts the fact that Capital M is the direct sum of M1, capital M1 and capital M2. Therefore, no such non-zero element belong to M1 intersect M2. That is, no non-zero element is common to both M1 and M2. That is, 0 is the only element which is common to both M1 and M2. Therefore, M1 intersect M2 is a set containing only 0 element. Now, we prove the sufficient part. Let capital M equal to capital M1 plus capital M2 and capital M1 intersect capital M2 is a set containing only zero element. Then to show that M is the direct sum of M1 and M2. Since A M equal to M1 plus M2 implies that each element of M, capital M, is expressed as sum of an element of M1 and an element of M2. Now to show that this expression is unique, if possible, let a small m belong to capital M and small m equal to m1 plus m2 such that small m1 belong to capital M1 and small m2 belong to capital M2. Again, let the same small m equal to m1 prime plus m2 prime such that m1 prime belong to capital M1 and M2 prime belongs to capital M2. This is number 1 and this is number 2. Therefore, small m is expressed as sum of two elements of M1 and M2 in two ways. From 1 and 2 we get M1 plus M2 equal to M1 prime plus M2 prime. 
left side equal then right side equal implies that m1 minus m1 prime equal to m2 prime minus m2 this is number theory since m1 is a submodule therefore small m1 small m1 prime belong to capital m1 submodule implies that small m1 minus small m1 prime belong to capital m1 this is number 4 again capital m2 is a submodule and small m2 small m2 prime belong to capital m2 implies that small m2 prime minus small m2 belong to capital m2 from theory 4 and 5 this is theory and this is 4 and this is 5 we get m1 minus m1 prime equal to m2 prime minus m2 belong to capital M1 intersect capital M2. But according to our assumption here M1 intersect M2 contains only zero element. Therefore M1 minus M1 prime belong to capital M1 intersect capital M2 means small M1 minus small M1 prime equal to 0. Similarly, small M2 prime minus small M2 equal to 0 implies that small m1 prime equal to small m1 and small m2 prime equal to small m2. Therefore, small m belong to capital M is uniquely expressed as a sum of an element of capital M1 and an element of capital M2. Therefore, capital M, the module, is the direct sum of two submodules M1 and M2. Proved. Thanks for watching my video. If you are satisfied with my presentation and contents, then please click on like button and do subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.